aftermath of the xenophobic violence in South Africa, tens of thousands of foreign nationals have been displaced. Thousands are staying in temporary camps, either waiting to return home or to be reintegrated into their South African community. Many of those seeking to go back to their home country do not, however, have the financial means to do so. That's the problem. Most of us, we want to go, but we don't have money to go back because the transfer, like here in Cape Town, is, is a lot. It's about 1,500 to get there in Malawi. And you have got some things like goods, you must pay on the bus for that. Uh, then we are failing to do the, the, those things. And many of the guys that have been robbed, the money and the things, you see, so they can't afford to go there. There are numerous organizations and individuals, both within and outside South Africa, who are doing everything they can to assist the foreign nationals. For one organization, that means flying into South Africa and buying members of their community tickets home. Director of the Healthy Malawi Foundation, Sandra Faban, says her local community in Carter Bay, North Malawi, are distressed about their friends and families stuck in South Africa. It's very sad what is happening. It's, 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 and it's touching everybody because nearly everybody has a, a relative that is here. They don't know how their family are. They don't. Some of them, they are. They lost everything, so they lost their mobiles. They have no means of contacting their family. So it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a big disaster. Verban flew into South Africa on Saturday, 24th May, using funding from Holland and Australia. Her organisation is buying Malawians their bus tickets home. She has assisted Malawians in Johannesburg and now is in Cape Town to assist Malawians at the city bus terminal. Faban's biggest concern is that she can't help everyone. Her budget limits her to a certain number of tickets. I wish there was more help to get them out because I have to choose now outside which I'm going to put in a bus and there are so many I can pick and I reached my limit and that's very sad because how you choose? Everybody wants to go home, everybody wants to go to their families and they came here because they thought it would be a better life um, and they found out it is a big disaster. However, those that Faban has been able to help are extremely grateful. Many acknowledge that if it weren't for the help of Faban's organization, they wouldn't be able to return home. Sandra, uh, she's helping many people. I just heard from uh, Thursday uh, that uh, she's helping uh, people to go uh, back to Malawi. And uh, yes, she's helping us. And most of us, we are going through uh, his, uh, her help. In fact, now she's buying the tickets from here to Johannesburg and from Johannesburg to Malawi. She's helping everybody who is here. Everybody from Malawi is helped by her. So what is the sentiment among those Malawians returning home? Yeah, I cannot stay here. Now I'm very scared, so that's why I decided to go back. I'm feeling bad because they're chasing us. See, They're taking our property. See, I have to go because I'm suffering. Yeah. I was not expecting this, this thing to happen because uh, the, the time when I, I've, I've been in, uh, in here in South Africa, I, I, I see that there, there are people which are very friendly and I, I, I didn't know this situation, where it comes from. Yeah, I'm very so sorry because of this situation and I, I, I feel it's better to, to, to go back to Malawi. It's better because I'll be safe there because that's my home country, you see. Will they return to South Africa once the violence has ended? I don't know, but if, I, if we understand that now there's peace and freedom, we can come back. I will not come back again in South Africa, because it's not this country in South Africa. We are suffering, see? They are jealous of us foreigners, see? Yeah. Now these people that I'm, that, that, that I'm helping going out, they had enough and some of them lost everything, their houses burned down, I mean they're, they're not coming back anymore now.